Curved folded surfaces hold a special place in computational origami. We introduce string actuated curved folded surfaces that can be shaped by pulling a network of strings, vastly simplifying the process of creating such surfaces and making the folding motion an integral part of the design. We consider shapes defined by two-dimensional crease patterns that exhibit curved creases and compute a sparse string graph on top of an input crease pattern such that the physical realization lifts the flat sheet to a corresponding three-dimensional shape when the threads are pulled. In the following, we will present the main results from the paper. For each crease pattern, we show the computed target folding motion, simulated string actuation, and the physical prototype. For details, please refer to the paper. Starting from a given crease pattern, we compute the desired trajectory of the surface in space. The effect of any single string on the deformation of the developable surface can be studied independently. Such deformations can be linearly combined to yield a local estimate of how the surface will evolve in time. The nonlinear deformation due to string contraction can be relinearized at each point along the trajectory and solved for a consistent network of strings across time to realize a desired curved folding. Based on local analysis of the deformation induced by individual strings, so-called actuation modes, our algorithm selects the strings whose combined deformation locally best approximates the given target motion. We realize the computed results as paper or aluminium models. Finally, threads are attached to the model by punching holes at the computed attachment points. The Asimov chair concept is based on a crease pattern designed by Benjamin Spert and owned by the Joris Larman lab. Given the simulated target shape, a set of 210 initial strings were computed using our algorithm. We extracted two different solutions using the progressive procedure as described in the paper. If, relative to the simulated deformation, the length of a string becomes shorter than it should be, we realize a length constraint for that thread segment using a prop. The apricot crease pattern is based on a design by John Mitani. We computed an initial set of 120 strings and three solutions. The simulated behavior is reproduced by the physical model. We collected strings at a single anchor point. Notice how the folding is not only guided by the thread, but also by the interaction of the crease pattern with itself until it locks into place. The nautilus shape is based on a sphere crease pattern, that is, a pattern that folds to a spherical shape with parts bordered by curved folds, mapping to globe gores. We computed a set of 325 candidate strings. The first solution yields impractically long string lengths when scaled to the 2 meter long sheet. After pruning these very long edges, we obtain a second solution where we used four threads to synchronize the lengths of the contracting strings. Once again, the physical realization confirms the validity of our optimization of physically plausible actuations. We presented an algorithm to design computational mechanisms to facilitate folding of crease patterns a process that has so far been largely restricted to manual folding. This opens up possibilities to realize movable, lightweight, large-scale freeform surfaces without requiring complex manual or robotic actuation. As key technical enabler, we introduced the notion of string actuation modes and use them to select actuation points and decide how to string these points together. The crease patterns and stringing sequences are available on the project webpage for personal use. Thank you.